Mmm, pears. These are Asian pears. It's making cash flowing properties, apartments, a thing of the past, especially with today's high inflationary market and high selling price when you buy these apartments. When I look at properties, I do the apartment math. I look at the possible value add improvements that I can do in the property. I also look at other incomes such as <laughs> this. I have an Asian pair here and one of the things I can do is sell this as well. This fruit bearing delicious crunchy Asian pear. Aside from that, I looked at parking potential. Can I rent parking spaces if there's a lot of parking spaces either to tenants or to other people that are working in the community? Third, I looked at a build back of the water, sewer, garbage to the tenant. Or if you have a single family home, you can give the tenant an option of either to do the lawn mowing services or you provide that lawn mowing service to the tenant. That's an additional stream of income. Fourth, aside from those things, there are also a late fees, pet fees. There's also lockout fees. So these are the things that you can add to the cash flow, to the income of your property. So what are the low hanging fruits in your apartments? Because right now, things are still expensive when you buy and when you borrow money, the cost to borrow is also very high. So look at your properties, low hanging fruits. I mean, literally and not literally, according to my son, George and Jaden. So these are my low hanging Asian pears and I have very low hanging apple trees as well. So this is, look, I'm almost close to the ground. These are red apples and I also have green apples. That's green apples. So it's a combination of red and green apples. There is a saying that goes, what did you do during winter? to be able to harvest your fruits during spring, summer. What did I do during fall and winter so I can rip the harvest, the, to rip the labor, the fruit of my labors during spring and summer. These are the green apples and they're very low hanging fruit. So I should ask myself that all the time when I buy properties. And I encourage you, you should also ask that when you buy your properties as well. I will be doing a free live webinar this August 27th, this is a Saturday at 11 a.m. I'm gonna share with you my journey of how I, as a physician, started with no financial education, with no knowledge in apartment investing, of how I bought from one property to over 75 apartment units between my husband and I. So if you want to, to know more, say wealth cannot wait. Wealth cannot wait in the comment section below. So let us go physicians. Wealth cannot wait. See you then.